Leslie Coors Mathers. Thank you. Right here on The Voice of America. So what lane do you feel most comfortable in? If you do a variety of different genres, if you had to pick one. I if, think country is where I really feel the most comfortable. I always have. Mm -hmm. um, I've, the critics have sometimes said not country enough. Um, and I'm okay with that because, you know. Really? Interesting. But, but I grew up really drawn to country music mm -hmm. all my life, no matter where I lived. Mm -hmm. um, so it just felt like I was very patriotic growing up, and it just feels like America to mm -hmm. me. And did you make a film or a series of films or documentaries yeah, yeah. And called Countrified? Countrified. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Um, so I have a song called Countrified. It was my, new, my first single, and it was mm -hmm. country, obviously. Mm -hmm. And the whole story was that I'm living in L.A., but I'm countrified. I'm a country music girl living in a big city. Um, and... So in the, it's a reality series, we follow me, my family, um, just our life and what mm -hmm. it's like to, you know, kind of live in both worlds and all the worlds combine. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, a, it's a pretty entertaining series. I, I didn't realize my family was that entertaining until I watched, <laughs> until watched it. <laughs> so. Do you uh, see a future in music for your kids? Is there? Oh, yeah. There yeah. So my 17 year old daughter, um, she's she's her first love is dance. And so her music, she writes, she sings, she plays the drums. She programs music mm -hmm. digitally um, in the computer, and her music's very danceable, mm -hmm. danceable music, pop. And then my uh, middle one, Stephanie, um, she's ukulele player, and she plays acoustic wow. guitar, electric guitar, and she's just a whole different style, mm -hmm. kind of Ed Sheeran and very uh, mm -hmm. all natural, mm -hmm. you know. And you're and preparing her well. for what the realities of this business are because they can be. They definitely harsh, see you know? the realities. You know, uh -huh. their dad works in Hollywood and I work in music, and they see the realities day in and day out, and so they see the ups and the downs already. So I think they're mm -hmm. they're prepared just from the reality of it all mm -hmm. in the house, you know, in the household. Mm -hmm. It's not glamorous. It's it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. Maybe they can try American Idol or The Voice. Or yeah, well, I've got one that's working towards uh, America's Got Talent. She's oh. already planning her act out. Well, look so. at that. I mentioned yeah. it to him when I saw him at the door, and then oh, you did. Yeah. But it's ironic. So yeah. To really try That's it. exactly what she's going for. Well, there you go. Yeah. Look cool. at that. We're on the same page. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Is there something that you haven't done yet that you want to do or try? A different genre, a different kind of music? Well, I want to tour Europe. In fact, Buddy and I were just talking. We have a we have a possibility of going to Europe uh, in December. And mm -hmm. so we're hoping that comes through because that's something I haven't done yet. And um, my songs have been played over there. And um, I'd love to get in that circuit of live touring. Mm -hmm. so Is there anybody you want to work with that you is on your wish list that you're telling Danny or somebody that you say, well, I'd like to record with so-and-so? Or... Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a hard one. I don't... Hmm. It would have been people who are no longer recording. Linda Ronstadt would have been amazing. Right. And she's no longer recording. Right. Jess Parkinson's? Um, I believe Jess yeah. Parkinson's, yeah. Um, we did do one of her songs uh, in tribute to her. It's it's on the album. It's Blue Bayou. And we had the oh. original, um, Dan Dugmore was the original steel player on her right. uh, album. And so, and he was actually very emotional when we did the song. Mm. And then we gave him the solo on steel to, to nod to her and honor her. So yeah, she, she probably would song. be the... The one. She'd be the one yeah. if you could. If I could. Wow. So tell me about the fires in Los Angeles, because that's something that people well, want to know is you're living in L.A. and and we keep <laughs> watching the news. Yeah, and, so and a I lot of those are northern. In fact, probably about near your house, right? In Redding, California. Redding, and that's pretty... Here. How close is that north. to... Yeah. Well, yeah. Well. Um, and I heard, I just heard yesterday, I think it's the largest... On California record, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, scary. Very scary. Very, and you never scary. know. I mean, they flare up so quickly. It's so dry. Mm -hmm. And the wind and the heat and everything is just like, you know, we say we have four seasons and one of them is fire season. So. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Uh, are you on tour at any time soon? I say, um, you know you want to go to Europe, but are you on tour right now? So we are planning. Oh, the, the first tour we're doing is the kidney tour circuit, um, kidney walk tour circuit. And what is so, that about? Explain so that. a kidney walk is um, a fundraiser for raising awareness for kidney um, disease. And the National Kidney Foundation puts it on. So um, okay. they've been kind enough to ask me to do uh, first the Irvine Kidney Walk, and then we're going to do the Los Angeles Kidney Walk. Mm -hmm. uh, so Irvine, I believe, is October or September. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles is October, and then November is Las Vegas. So mm -hmm. that'll be a little cooler in November to do wow. the kidney and, walk. And your kids probably told you Selena Gomez also had a, a she kidney She did. I know. So they that's... said you should call her and you should go on tour with her. And That would be awesome. That would be awesome. To, to yeah. kidney Now that awareness. she's not with Justin Bieber anymore. <laughs> <it's a> little... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're talking with Leslie Kors Mather who uh, has a new album. Which How many albums have you put out over the years? Um, mm -hmm. Well, over the years it's been mostly singles with, with okay. this producer, with Danny, since I've switched to um, working with Danny, which was a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. We uh, ended up doing a whole bunch of songs and mm -hmm. then put out several singles and now we're putting them into album form so um it's really a singles time you know it's mm. 
it's a it's a little harder to do an album these days. People don't go to the record store anymore. Right. You, know, you might go to Walmart or tar- Target or something, but mm-hmm. it's a little easier just to um, do the singles. But I personally love the whole body of work and the story that it tells. And mm-hmm. so we've decided just recently, okay, we're going to categorize these into five albums, and they're coming out now. Mm-hmm. So and you're self funded. Um, yeah, we're an in- I'm an independent artist. Wow. So it's, well, that gives you more control. It gives me over. a lot of control. Mm-hmm. I can, you know, creative control and financial control. I, you know, own everything I sell. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot harder. The exposure is a little harder, you know. Right, it, right, right. A little harder to throw money at the production and the promotion <laughs> and the, you know. All it's of an that, expensive so. machine. It's very expensive, but I do it because I love the music. Right. You know more than anything else. So. And you're doing some great music. Thank you. I, mean, I Thank love your you. voice. Thank you. W- w- you classically trained or where did, how did you develop? Uh, your... Originally not. And then um, funny enough, I went to Vanderbilt, which is in Nashville mm-hmm. because I wanted to be a country music singer, got into Vanderbilt audition, got in. And then they told me when I um, like my first week of school, no pop singing, nothing but opera. Mm-hmm. And I, again, like with the renal thing, what do you, what's opera? Right. You know, opera? What do you mean? And I kind of liked it. Mm. Although I was rebelling quite a bit. I would go off campus to do, you know, music row. I went out to, you know, act and do things off campus. Went over to Belmont for a while, which is mm-hmm. more pop. Um, so, yeah, I had some classical training. And then after that, I just tried to break all the rules. But I kind of use them both. And I like to do musical theater as well, Broadway stuff. And, and it comes in handy for that, you mm-hmm. know. You still doing so, acting? Uh, when I can, I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love acting. I love doing even just the music videos that we do for the songs because mm-hmm. you can become a character in each video for, you know, three minute character. You know, it's fun. Maybe it's you'll want to score something, score a movie or something. Oh, you know, write music for that something. That sounds painful. I, <laughs> it sounds so heady. I don't know. I like to throw my ideas out and let people clean it up. It's a, I'm messy. Yeah. I, my son might. My son's very calculated mm. and I think he's got perfect pitch. He doesn't believe me, but he does. And wow. um, he really doesn't have any interest. I think he's in the control room. Right. Probably laughing. We at need me. a whole oh, family he's act. From me. Yeah, you know, we're a family the Swiss affair. family. You're in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're the Partridge family. We're the Mather family. <laughs> the Mather family. Yeah. All right, well, would you do another song for yeah, us? Yeah, we'll do another song, of course. This one's, uh, this one's called Moving On. Oh, Moving One, on. 